What are you guys doing in the booth? Drivers are getting ready to take the green flag for the first time in the rain, or truly in the rain. The green flag is out here at Sandown. Jack Legacy is down the inside already off the gate, looking to take the lead, entering turn number one, three wide even, as <clears throat> Small Natsomi is going to back off Legacy to the lead, entering turn one. Legacy, of course. Uh, everyone knows about Legacy, it seems. Wrecked out with two to go at uh, at Olin, lost by a thousandth at, uh, at Malaga. My goodness, has he had a season. Uh, quite a misfortunate one indeed. <clears throat> As Durbin's going to fall back a little bit, Legacy is going to extend his lead considerably. Allie Nelson back in fourth position, who's kind of had a wild season herself. Well, uh... We've had our first incident, and... Oh, boy. 58 and McIntyre slides off the track into William Duncan. Carlin Dooming in, in as well has slid off the track, and there's somebody else around. That looks like it's the 68. Yes, that is a 68 around as well. Uh, many cars got held up in that <laughs> unfortunate mess. William Duncan and Sebastian Torres have quite the history, don't they? Indeed, and... Now, uh, somebody's down pit road right now. That is uh, the 15, actually. He's got some pretty heavy damage on the front end. He's going to get that hood removed. And he started dead and last. And the 15... Yeah, he started last. He drew last. But uh, he'll get it back going. Just some minor cosmetic repairs to the car. And, oh, dear God, he's speeding down pit road. I don't understand that. I guess the pit lane speed's a little inconsistent here. So, uh, of course goes Eugene DeMax, and he gets, uh, clipped, unfortunately. I think that was the 32 car that clipped him. That would be H.J. Green? No, sorry, that's Tony Green. And Joshua Cooley bins it into the barriers. He is out of the race. Lone engine, indeed, for the two of Chikulis. Uh, he's not really had a solid season himself, to say the least. As, whoa, that is, uh... Yeah, and he did really well. Oh, the four, oh. four almost losing it, just panicked, running into his oil, and he's spewing all over the racing surface. Yeah, the, that's the 404 of John Christchurch out of Northwest Territories. You may want to be careful, John. I agree with that. Really? Battle for second now between Smolnit Somi and Ike Durbin. After Somi ran off in turn two, I see Annie Thomas in the background. Um having been it into the wall off of turn three, uh, but she will get that car going again. This is a dangerous place to do battle I think here. everyone's hit that one. As, oh, the 81 has slid off the track. That is Caleb Van Avenhoven. But uh, Van Avenhoven will continue on. So, yeah, Caden Van Avenhoven hasn't really done too much uh, this season, uh, to be completely upfront. And this pretty much sums things up. Not much more to say than that. Kind of bend it into the wall. And we saw Aiden Shepard uh, in the background as well, hitting the uh, tire barrier as well, just for uh, a light tap to the barrier, nevertheless. It's been quite a struggle for Shepard this season as well. Lap 7, Ike Durbin is going to make a mistake as he clips the outside wall off turn 3. He's going to clip it again, ever so slightly off 4. As that's going to allow Ellie Nelson and Luca Bro by both of the downways to uh, take advantage of this. Yeah, um, I guess uh, Ike Durbin, really experienced, but I guess he's, you know, kind of... You know, uh, kind of a little excited that he's actually running well for once in Hark, and when you're excited and, and behind the wheel of a race car, mistakes can happen quite easily. Nelson was quite a bit of experience on the road courses, I must say, as he 
Uh, beautiful Denali Chase is trailing right behind her in the old Tanana. Uh, she'll be driving this for the last time in this race. Wow! A Brovac getting side by side to her left side door. And I think that's going to take the third position away from her just like that. Amazing move by Luka Brovac in the 78. Barth? Yeah, that, that was a great uh, move, but it was also pretty cool to see the two Denali side by side, the Chase, the Tanana. And as uh, we see, oh, a Brovac then making a mistake right there after a beautiful overtake off the last corner, but he's not going to give this up uh, quite easily. He's going to slide back in right in front of Mitsomi in the 20. Uh -huh. Yeah, Nozomi has had a meme fest of a year so far. And is that Tavolaris I see? That is in fact the 69 of Tavolaris <clears throat> in the 6th position. He's oh quite my well. god, Tavol Tavolaris has done absolutely nothing this year. He's dead last in points, and I don't know if he's even finished inside the top 20. Uh, not once this uh. year, as a matter of fact. He's currently running... Seventh, Eugene the max up in eighth right now. I mean, looks like he's got some rear end damage himself. Next incident in the lap eight, William Duncan was battling with Annie Thomas up till he uh, had to check out the brakes in the turn eight. Contact to play camp house and then both cars are around. Uh, and that's just kind of the epitome of William Duncan's year in a nutshell. After having gone around. And as for Camphausen, um, he's been rather anonymous this year, to say the least. Yeah, and when Camphausen has run well, he usually hasn't finished too well. And kind of divine intervention getting in the way of William Duncan ever running well in uh, the 2018 Pro, or 2017 Pro Series, it, it seems. On the following lap, Robert Piet uh, was bounding around with Lestovich for um, uh, eighth place, and he's going to lose the car. Spedwater or Fitzwater, excuse me, just about loses it um, off 8 as well, but he's gonna keep it going. <clears throat> as a, oh, hello, Daniel. Yeah, Flores. um, Piet... <laughs> ah, uh, Piet has, uh, hasn't really done too much this year. He was really anonymous in the Can-Am series and got, it, got himself a title just by running really well. Uh, this year, not so much. Nice fortune as one would think. Three wide, though, for position between Boyles himself and the 42, who's a lap down, with heavy front-end damage, who's got the entire hood removed, even. So, Piat not wasting any time. Uh, has Colin McGovern. I don't think McGovern has really had a race without any problems whatsoever. But he's going to try and pass some yeah. balls on the inside, though, entering turn four. And to no avail. And next incident, um, Mitchell Carter in the 80, uh, slip slides the car through the S's and... I don't even know what just happened there. Uh, right in front of the 59 car, Zachary Fitzwater. Oh my goodness, uh, uh, Fitzwater probably needs, uh, probably it's gonna have a very high cl uh, dry cleaning bill. I would agree. That one, as uh, Carter will continue on, despite losing many, many positions as a result of that spin. And right in front of uh, the 80, the 71 of Carrera turns uh, the 03 uh, into the wall. Yeah, dude. Around he goes. Yep, Ben, that's King Ray into the wall. I guess, uh, uh I guess, uh, King Ray, uh, prefers, U well, I guess, uh, King Ray prefers Uber, and uh, Guerrero doesn't like that very much, being as uh, he's a Lyft driver. Uh, so, yeah, that's quite a bit of damage for the O3, and that's going to set King Ray back. By lap 12, Daniel Voiles is going to run himself off the track off turn 8 from 11th position, and oh, just about lost the car. I'm indeed shocked Just that Boyles barely is... kept it together. I'm indeed shocked that Boyles kept it on the track, to say the least. Yeah, but well, Boyles is—he—he's gotten much better. I'll put it that way. He's gotten much better over over uh, the years. And especially that one race he ended up winning, actually, I think in 2015. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And then, yeah, and then he pit walled it. Well, at least he won. Well. 
yeah, let's just put it there. <laughs> Lap 13 as Nasomi is going to try and take the inside line and Allie Nelson who made a mistake, and around goes the 20 to surrender fourth place to Luka Brovac. Luka Brovac, such a good day, such a good run, but unfortunately the Denali chase is coming to break down. Um, I believe uh, some, I'm not even sure what happened to him, but uh, Brovac will slow on the track. Uh, his day has been ruined, but it is not over, and he will get back out onto the circuit. So, Small Nozomi has had a tip-top year, said no one ever. That seems like a familiar statement. Um, she runs it into the wall, gets back going, and is promptly in the middle of a complete cavalry of lapped cars. There's the 19 of King off a lap, uh, not sure about Piet. Cavalar, surprisingly, is um, my goodness. Calvary of Lats cars, although, um, <clears throat> the 69 was going to go for position. Here comes the 82 of Piet. Oh, Piet gets loose and saves it. After oh, that was, that's a great save. Great save. Oh, good save by the 55 as well. That's AJ Green. Who I believe is also on the lead lap. As well, Tommy Turbo is going to try and close in on the 55 as well after he deals with Piet for, um, down. So, Jack Legacy. Uh, Legacy apparently has the Boy Scouts of America coming on to his car when uh, they return to the States. Well, uh, he probably should have been prepared for uh, the, what might happen when he runs off the course, because he's just lost the lead. As Ike Durbin will be the beneficiary of this, he's now going to deal with the lap car. That's the 81, actually, of an Nathan Owen, who we saw went off the track earlier. By lap 17, an ambush of backmarkers will be battling for the all-important 23rd position with um, the 15th Ben Hall of Cavalry. Oh, did I say Cavalry? No, I didn't. <laughs> As William Duncan tried the inside, whoa, gets way out of shape there. And that was for 28th position. Well, Duncan will continue on. Thankfully, the 80 was kind enough to let him back in line. Because uh, we've seen what Duncan's experienced before uh, throughout the season. Uh, must you, uh, oh, the, the 62 cars. Hey, off. 62 car just slid off the course. He didn't wreck it, though, thankfully. Now, we did just miss that, but uh, I don't see any significant damage on him, anyhow. Durbin continues to lead. And he has a considerably large lead over Allie Nelson, as a matter of fact. So Durbin in great shape right now to uh, maybe t run away with this race, in spite of Legacy having led every lap thus far up to that point, uh, when he bent it off the track. Just as his day could not get any worse, William Duncan now is going to hit the wall, turn three, spinning around, gets hit by the 32, and the 42 plows into the door. And that'll cause him to go out of the race as a result, or well, 42 at least. Duncan will uh, Yeah, Duncan. that is... That is day over for Colin McGovern. Um, also out of the race, I uh, don't know if we got it earlier, but the uh, 23 of Viznovsky is out of the race. Mike Viznovsky probably misses the days when he was battling against Sally Nelson for the win in the Can-Am series. Uh, because, well, he's currently going to have to sit and uh, just watch everyone go by. He is out of the race. He's out of 14 in turn 3. So, Sidney Crest uh, has run 30th or so uh, the whole race. You can see uh, uh, the 21s uh, in its old colors. They've only got one, uh, they've only got one uh, model of uh, the new scheme available, and it's off at Calder. So they decided to bring back the old car for one last race. Uh, she is currently about to lose a lap to your leader, Ike Durbin. Lap 21 now, and as Frank knows, is about to put the 19 of King a lap down, and that is a cavalry of lap cars in between the leaders. Uh, it's not a cavalry, it's a cavalcade. Uh, you're right indeed, but the 02 might just get by the 19 to put him a lap down as well. The Fitzwater is off the track, as well as Finn Guy, who both nick the wall, but will press on. Uh, Finn Guy is a lap down as well. I think he hasn't had a great day at all. Well, oh, there's William Duncan, who's wrecked about three times already. At lap 20 now, now, uh, Sam Curtis 
has been running around 21st place, and he's going to nick the wall around it goes. There's Carlin Dooming in the background as well, running into the tire barrier, and he is done. And, oh, there goes the 80 around as well. I'm not sure how to react to that one. Nor am I. We're now approaching 11 laps to go for the 86 of Ike Durbin as he's going to try to lap Sydney Prancer entering turn 1. Not going to quite make uh, the move work there. So he's got to be very careful. He's got a cavalcade of lap traffic to deal with here. As, oh, he slides him into turn 3. He's going to take advantage of Prass on the outside. Oh, contact. Oh, Durbin's off. Durbin is around. Oh, dear. That's not good for the 86. And here comes the 18. Right there. Jack Legacy could take this race lead from the 86 if he's not careful. Durbin blocks the left hand side, the right hand side that was wide open for the 18 to take the lead. And now down to the Aussies again. The 86 is going to defend the best he can. Anything he might have. The run dive on the 18! Both cars contact into the wall hard! Oh dear, that's not good for either driver. Allie Nelson's going to. Have a lot of benefits from that. Ike Durbin is done. So much for Durbin actually finishing a race this season. Or at least a solid finish this season with the 86, as he's going to take it down pit road and retire the car. Huge heartbreak for the 86 team, who drew the pole, led better be lap after the 18 spun, and now this. So, small Nozomi in the meantime, uh,. Yeah, that's how you throw away a good 14th place run. That, that's the second time a car in 14th place has crashed. Jack Clagacy trying to... Actually doesn't have too much damage on this car, but... Or at least too much visible damage. He probably has some internals. Uh, Ali Nelson approaching fast in turn two. Makes the move in turn three as Legacy. Legacy forces the issue and Legacy on the inside of turn four. As Ali Nelson and the Denali, the Denali Tanana, will cruise on by on the kink and will take the lead through the S's. But now she's getting held up by the 32. This is detrimental to her race lead. The 32 is blocking her for no reason at all. And now the 18 takes advantage again. And the 18 slips right back into the lead. Now we missed this earlier. Kingry is going to make contact with the outside wall and spin it around on 22 and, and look at a back. He's gonna nail it into the tire barriers, and that is gonna be his race done. Tough way for the Denali chase. It was off to a splendid start up to a s Oh, and Finn Guy! Trying to make a move on Fitzwater and almost wrecked himself in doing so. Uh, also, I think that was the 88 car. That's Sylvain Lasalvich in the Dodge Challenger, who has quite a bit of damage. Uh, Lasalvich was running in seventh, if I'm correct. It lost maybe two or three positions as a result of that, but once again, very unfortunate for Luka Obrovac, who's had a splendid day go horribly wrong with a mechanical failure, and now getting into the fire race to finish it off. Free car battle going down the back straight. Uh, that's Daniel Boyles in the 52, surprisingly still in the race. AJ Green 55, and that's the F1 car, Fred Flintstone, and the uh, Flintstone Flyer tribute. Uh, not quite sure how old Flintstone is, but he's showing age is just a number. <laughs> Skating the car around and uh, kind of forcing the issue on uh, the 55, forcing the 55 to skate around. I'm sure AJ Green wasn't too happy about that. Although Daniel Royals himself just made a mistake up ahead, and now Green is back after him for position again. Although the three of Tommy Turbo is very slow as well. I think he's going a second lap down. Wow, outside, they both split the as a matter of fact. Royals blocks the 55, however. Oh, and by the way, just in case you were wondering, yes, Tony Tavolaris is still in the race. Running 10th, as a matter of fact. Meanwhile, Freddie Flintstone is trying to uh, put Turbo a second lap down. Turbo loses it! Oh, that was an amazing save by the three. The F1 is going to keep it on the track, and wow, the 69 almost lost it as well. Uh, well, I guess Tavolaris is really nervous. I mean, he's still in the race, for God's sakes, and he's running in 10th. It may appear he might battle Fred Flintstone for the ninth position, as a matter of fact, pretty soon. 
Six laps to go now for Jack Lagas. He's dealing with the 80 car, trying to put him a lap down. That 80 car is giving him a lot of trouble, though. Oh, this is not good. Oh, they managed to keep it together in the downpour. Don't mind you, the downpour is worsening as we're heading towards the ending stages of this race. And, and their tires are getting, uh, their tires are wearing. I'm not quite sure what kind of tires they brought. Uh, rain tires that can last 100 kilometers, but uh, they, they're starting to wear thin, and uh, they're starting to slip slide around the track, and really have, and they really have to check up. Lap times have dropped off by about five seconds, but it seems like our leaders really don't care because they are side by side down the front stretch, entering turn number one. Nelson now trying to make an outside line move work on the 18. That does not work at all. She's gonna try it again at some point uh, when she forces into a mistake. Oh, 18 cracks under pressure. Nelson to the inside into the lead. Allie Nelson takes to complete and utter advantage of the 18 mistake. And now this could give her the win, as a matter of fact. All she needs to do is just maintain the pace. Although she's a little bit slower than the 18 as the 18 is out for blood right now. Trying to recover from his mistakes. And look how fast he is, good lord. My goodness, did he bring the same car uh, from Malaga? Actually, I think he might have. Perhaps so, but Nelson is still trying to maintain the lead as best she can. She's too is cracking under pressure from the 18 as well as they're gonna close in on lap traffic. Uh, I think that's Flintstone up there. Um, in fact, no, we wait, wrong on that. They're they're gonna lap. They're lapping the top ten. Yeah, it looks like Flintstone. It might not be Flintstone. I could be wrong on that. I, I, I think it is. We'll have to see. Check and see. We can't really see it right now. Oh, Legacy cracks it again. Yeah, no, that is a sixty-two. No, that's, my mistake. Yeah, it's a sixty-two of uh, Cortez. My mistake. And mine too. Uh, Nelson just extended the lead after the 18 of Legacy made another mistake. So this race is truly hers to win now. As Nelson's probably extended to well over a second on the 18. Legacy though still closing in on Nelson with three laps to go now. A critical situation and Legacy off again. Wow, what is he doing? Are his tires running, or is his brain running out his ears? Either way, he's definitely going to lose his sleep. Uh, chance for the win now if he's going to continue making mistakes like this, as Nelson still has two and a half more laps to run in the, on this uh, downpour on the racetrack. But Nelson now has to close in on Cortez. Uh, to put him, I think, a second lap down. It might be his first lap down, as a matter of fact. We didn't see him get lapped I, earlier. I think it. I think it's his first lap down, because uh, he's still maintaining decent pace. Uh, coming to two laps to go here for Ali Nelson. Nelson now is going to make some sort of move on a 62 if she wants to secure uh, that victory. As they head down to turn one, Nelson with the inside. Move? No, she's gonna get held up ever so slightly after that move, and here comes Legacy again. Now into three and four now. Nelson, oh, they go off! Nelson's around! Oh, of course, of course! Uh, around goes Nelson. 18! Legacy, Legacy clips the 62! Oh my goodness oh, me! That's, that's not good. Nelson, I think, just lost this race. It, it depends, so what... How much damage does the 60, uh, does the 18 have after clipping oh. uh, Cortez? 18's lost third gear! 18! Uh, 18 has no third gear. He's gonna have one more lap, though. He's not gonna give anything up yet. As here they come off the final two corners. Look at the 80 trying to get around the 18. The 80's that, even that faster than them. Yeah, that just shows how slow the the 18 is, but um, I'm not sure if uh, Nelson has much more speed. Uh, white flag is out. One more lap to go. One lap to go for the 18. Nelson clocked in two seconds behind, and look oh. how close she's closing Here. in. I think I think that was just the 62 holding up the 96. 
96 got by the 62 rider quickly. Here she goes on the inside into three and four. Will this secure the victory for Ali Nelson? Oh, yes, it will. Nelson gets by the internally damaged 18. Not Ali Nelson must be the luckiest driver in the world right now. Here comes Eugene the Max. All the way from third, about six seconds back, may close in on the 18, but I don't think he's gonna have enough to pass him for second. And through the S's, one last time, uh, Allie Nelson probably cannot believe what has just happened. Uh, likely thought her that her chances were over after spinning off the turn number uh, turn number three, but Allie Nelson will round the corner and she will get that cash prize. Allie Nelson. Cruises down the front stretch and will win a very hard fought battle here at the Consolation Race. John Christchurch, um, unfortunately, blows up coming to the white flag. Uh, he was running in ninth, and now he isn't. Simple, straightforward. That's gonna put the 404 out of the race on the white flag, even. <laughs> and that's. That's heartbreaking for the 404 team.